what's up guys uh, George again with another video uh, let me start this video uh, explaining a little bit why of the title of the video uh, so I talk on on this idea for this video because uh, as you guys know there's a lot of gourmet uh, fragrances out there uh, and it's supposed to be the gourmet fragrances they're supposed to smell or you get a vibe or any kind of food uh, right so uh, that's why you can uh, say that it's a gourmet because it, remain, it reminds you uh, any kind of food or dessert or whatever so I think about this why not do uh, this video and choose five of my fragrances with a drinkable vibe uh, what I try to do with this is uh, like I say that there's uh, fragrances with the gourmet uh, scents out there there's a lot of fragrances out there with the smell of a beverage or a drink of uh, drinks or something so these are my top five in my collection uh, something that when I wear it, it pictures in my mind uh, a beverage a drink uh, and actually it's quite a uh, different kind of fragrances uh, the five that I have right here uh, it's pretty much for any kind of occasions and uh, seasons so you know I just talk about this video uh, let me know what you think about this this whole uh, idea uh, you can replay me back uh, or any video replay or comment down below which are your uh, favorite drinkable vibe uh, fragrances so let me start saying one that is very famous in the fragrance community. It is a fragrance from the House of Bone number nine, and it's uh, Coney Island. Uh, this fragrance is supposed to smell like uh, uh, margarita, uh, kind of a uh, vibe. Uh, and yeah, it smells so good. It, it is a very nice fragrance very refreshing for uh, for summer uh, but to be honest I don't have this, this bottle in my collection because uh, the scent on my skin it turns out in something uh, not very pleasant uh, on my skin is just a horrible salty uh, scent which I don't enjoy at all uh, but another person another people where I had smell this fragrance smell so good to be honest uh, but it doesn't work on my skin so that's a shame for me uh, but anyways there's a lot more uh, fragrances out there so let me start with my number five uh, this fragrance is a cheapy but a goodie it's a fragrance that you can find almost anywhere for a very very cheap uh, price and I'm talking about Tommy Bahama Set sale sign bars. Here it is, guys. This fragrance you can easily find this fragrance in a Rose, a Marshall, TJ Maxx, anywhere for around 12, 15, 20 the most, 20 bucks for this fragrance, 100 ml. It smells good, guys, to be honest. Uh, a little bit on the synthetic uh, side. Uh, actually this fragrance has been compared with Coney Island and, and a bunch of other fragrances uh, but yeah definitely this is the the cheapy of all of them uh, all these fragrances which has been compared with this fragrance but it smells good, it's pleasant, uh, pretty nice and safe uh, fragrance for summer uh, yeah it, it worth the 20 bucks, the 15 20 bucks that you pay for it. Uh, I definitely got this beautiful vibe of uh, tequila, salty, and lemony vibe, uh, which is very refreshing. Right now, if you enjoy those type of boozy scents, this is uh, this is very nice for 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 you. Uh, it's, you can go safe with this fragrance, 15 20 bucks. Come on, it's it, it's a good. Price, you know, uh, it doesn't last last long. Uh, on my skin, it's two, three hours, and it's gone. Uh, but I've been trying this fragrance uh, 
using a, a moisturizing lotion and it stays a little bit more uh, three or four hours and that's it uh, but you can you know re reply and, and it's gonna be fine so what I get out of this fragrance is uh, I know not all of you guys uh, drink or alcoholics uh, or alcohol beverage or, so, or something uh, but if you had tried a tequila shot with a uh, salt in the uh, in the lid of the uh, of the little uh, shot glass, you drink it and then you suck a piece of lemon and you get this strong alcoholic vibe in your throat and with the little salty and the lemon, the citrusy in your mouth. Uh, for the salt and the lemons, of course, uh, that's what I picture in my mind with this fragrance. Pretty nice, pretty nice fragrance, to be honest. Very enjoyable fragrance for summer. So, Tommy Bahama, Set Sail, Sign Bards, number five. Number four, this fragrance is more for fall, winter, because it's a heavy, heavy fragrance. And uh, I actually wear this fragrance also in the spring because in here, uh, in my area, on the springs it rains a lot. It is the raining season, and I do enjoy this fragrance because the cold months, rainy season, or whatever, uh, I do drink a lot of coffee. I'm a coffee lover, uh, so when it's cold outside or inside anywhere, uh, I do enjoy uh, drink a lot of coffee and. My number four is Pure Coffee by Thierry Mugler. Uh, I don't know if this is the best coffee scent out there, but in my collection it is. Uh, I definitely love, love this fragrance. This is, uh, it is great, it's amazing. Uh, I know it's hard to find right now, and if you find a bottle is way expensive. Uh, but yeah, out of this fragrance, what I get when I wear this fragrance, what I picture in my mind when I'm wearing it, is a delicious uh, cup of coffee. But uh, it's not just the cup of coffee. It is you get this uh, beautiful scent of the coffee beans. Uh, so it's not just the uh, cup of coffee. It's like if you picture in my mind. If you picture in your mind a cup of coffee rounded by a lot, a lot of coffee beans, and that's what I get out of this uh, fragrance. I know it has more going on. It has the original Angel Man uh, DNA, and it is very sweet and blah blah blah. But it does have this kind of drinkable vibe on this fragrance, um, and I really enjoy it every time I wear this uh, fragrance. Uh, I do like to have a cup of coffee why not because it's pretty it's pretty nice so this is my number four a uh, pure coffee by Thierry Mueller so my number three this is another uh, heavy fragrance for uh, fall and winter uh, that's when I prefer to to use this fragrance this is the king of the boosies on my collection uh, if you like alcoholic beverage, you're gonna enjoy a lot of this fragrance. It has a tons of ingredients, a tons of uh, notes, but you're gonna get more the boozy uh, notes out of this fragrance. If you enjoy, if you enjoy uh, champagne, vodka, you can, you are gonna love this fragrance. And I'm talking about Amber Rose by Parfum the Empire. This is such an amazing fragrance, guys, for cold weather. It's not the best boozy uh, fragrance out there, but definitely this is one of my favorites. Uh, this fragrance, I picture in my mind when I wear this fragrance or when I smell it. A champagne, just this uh, glass, you know, of champagne. And a, or a glass of vodka, a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. It's very heavy, 
but in a good way it, it doesn't you know bother you at all it's a very very enjoyable fragrance uh, plus it has a honey and a, a tea note which uh, it balances the fragrance very very nice so definitely guys check this one out if you haven't if you like boozy fragrances check this one out Amber Rose by Powerful and Empire let's move to my number two my number uh, choice my number two on on this list uh, it is a beautiful fragrance it's well known this fragrance in the fragrance community this fragrance I wear a lot of this fragrance during uh, spring and I also wear in the fall too uh, this fragrance is so calming uh, it is a little bit warm uh, very enjoyable fragrance it's sexy it's very very sexy uh, apparently a lot of worlds enjoy this uh, this scent and my number two is Gucci Perron 2 I believe this is a tea based fragrance uh, 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 tea based fragrance and it's beautiful guys every time I wear this fragrance when it comes to my mind it's a delicious cup of, a cup of uh, tea uh, with a, a um, cinnamon sticks inside and you get this two scents combined and you smell uh, this beautiful this is like a tea in a bottle to be honest guys very enjoyable fragrance very calming it has a, a calming vibe on this fragrance and a very sexy too so this is my number two Gucci for home too and finally my number one fragrance with a drinkable vibe it is a fragrance excellent for summer uh, you get this uh, lemonade uh, type of vibe coconut vibe and a bootsy bo bootsy type of scent uh, uh, people say it has the smell of a pina colada uh, vibe I don't I know where it came from with these uh, uh, corporations but I don't get the pineapple uh, uh, scent uh, I do believe this fragrance is more like a, uh, the smell of a lemon, uh, lemonade, a cold lemonade uh, with some kind of coconut juice or you know and then you pour in the uh, beverage, uh, rum or any kind of alcoholic vibe and you get all these three uh, scents together and it's such a beautiful and refreshing fragrance guys, this is Virgin Island Water by Creed. This is so beautiful, guys. So refreshing for summer. You can't go wrong, uh, wrong with this fragrance. Refreshing and safe fragrance. Virgin Island Water, lemonade, coconut, rum. What else can you ask in a hot day in summer? So that's my number one, guys. Virgin Island Water. So that's it, guys. My number five set sales and bars. Number four, pure coffee. Number three, ambre rouge. Number two, Gucci pour homme two. And my number one, Virgin Island water. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this uh, uh, idea of the video. Let me know which are your favorite drinkable by fragrances. Uh, comment down below, guys. Come on, uh, give me thumbs up, rate, uh, comment, subscribe. And see you guys around. Later.